Hey, this is Clay from Sharp Car Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got negative opinions, keep it to yourself. So here we go, kids. Um, what I'm doing is I replaced an alternator in a 2003 Cadillac DeVille. I will tell you that this is pretty much the same for this particular body style DeVille, no matter if it's a 97, I think it's 97 to whatever. Uh, this is more of a description. This isn't really me changing it. I've already replaced it. Uh, I looked at some YouTube videos and noticed that they weren't very helpful. Um, I work on cars for a living. I had done one of these, but it's been a lot of years, and I think I did it differently, but this is the easiest, fastest way, and this is not an easy job. But it goes rather smoothly if you're doing it properly. So what you're going to do is there's a cross brace in here that comes up like this. You're gonna remove that. There's two bolts up here, and there's two bolts down at the bottom. There's three bolts that hold the, the hood latch on. You wanna remove that. You're gonna remove the AC condenser. If it has Freon in it, evacuate it first. Uh, you know, I can't tell you what to do about that. Um, I have all the tools to, to do this job, and it did make it easier. I used stubby ratchets, ratcheting wrenches, uh, things to make this job easier. Um, I found most of it was done from the top. If you remove that bracing, you remove the condenser, you're going to not have to completely remove the radiator, although you are going to have to undo it for the most part and be like you're going to remove it. These right here are where you're going to run into the probably the biggest problem for a novice or an amateur repair technician. Um, there's a little clip down inside there and it looks kind of like this and it's like a U. Uh, you're gonna have to take a little tiny pick tool like this and you're gonna have to pick that clip out of there. Do not lose it. They are extremely hard to get. I have lost them before and I've learned this from experience. But you only need to remove this. You're gonna need to remove this top radiator hose right here and the rest of it you can leave it all connected uh, you're obviously going to have some fluid loss there pretty simple stuff once you get this back out of the way and you're able to move this back here you'll be able to easily get to well you know relatively easily get to the bolts that hold the alternator on and I will show you them because I have the old alternator here um, so the alternator sits in there pretty much like this. Uh, this bolt you can get to from the top. This bolt down here at the bottom is actually like a pinch bolt. All you really have to do is loosen this up. Um, one of the problems that happens is, is when you tighten this bolt up, these come out. They're designed to do that. They're designed to lock it in there. Uh, what you're going to do is, so it's going to be sitting in the car, you, if you have that bolt on the bottom loose, this bolt out, and this bolt that holds the ground on, you can just, with the radiator out of the way, you can just tap it with a hammer, and what it'll do is it will allow these to like go like this and, and push them back this way, because when it's installed and that bolt is tight, You'll be able to get it out of there, but you do not have to really remove that bolt because it just slides off of a like a, a hinge type thing, and it really technically doesn't even have to come out. Uh, and pretty simple, unplug it and undo that, and then put your new one in. Hey, I hope this was a little bit more help than the other ones. Thanks much. Bye.